Hey guys, it's Ray. So today we're going to be making this dainty white earring holder. So a while back I made this other earring holder and I'm sure we do this part because we're going to be pretty much using the same thing that I did in that one using one of this like 200 press on nails boxes that they came in but what I ended up doing then and ended up doing now twice get rid of the lead and just smooth like edges cut parts and all that stuff so you're going to be left with a box like this one now if you don't have something like this don't worry you can use like a mini ice tray I think that will work as well but I'm going to be covering that hole with some like clear tape then gluing those two together with some super glue I'm going to be taking some like foamy sheets and I'm going to cut this in half because I need a longer strip out of this I'm just going to be taping those two together and then I'm just going to cut it in half so I'm just going to be needing two of those per side and then two tiny ones for the edges now I'm just going to be marking the size of everything here folding that in half and just working on the like shape that I wanted to have doing the same thing for the edges and just working on the like shape as well going to be cutting that those are going to be my bases and I'm just going to trace those shapes into the other foamy papers that I have got to cut the whole thing then this is what I have two big ones and two small ones now I did use super glue to glue the whole thing but I don't know if you noticed from the beginning or you're gonna see in a minute if I were to do this again or maybe as a tip that I can share I would just use something else maybe super glue but because I used a hot glue gun and this is a foamy paper it kind of like marks everything you can see like some texture pretty much when it dries so just something to keep in mind then I'm going to be painting this I'm going to first apply one coat of this white then i'm going to add some like details using these two hole punchers one is bigger and one is smaller adding one big one on like the center and then two small ones on like the edges then i went with this vintage white in my brush and the reason that i went with the white one first is because i needed to apply a bunch of coats of paint to make this look white and uh, pigmented and because i had a more white than this vintage white so i went with the white first and then finished up with this one like one coat so once that's done and dry, I'm going to be taking my gold acrylic paint and my tiny brush, my detail brush, and I'm just going to be adding like some gold on like those holes right there and on the edges of the whole thing. This is pretty much what this one looks like. I really like it, even though you can see the uh, hot glue gun underneath it. But overall, I really like it. I think it looks really nice. Actually, a lot of like the earrings that you see right there, I do have the DIYs for those. My collection has actually grown quite a lot so this gives me enough space for both what I have now and to make more meaning a lot more earrings coming soon but yeah I really hope you like this one if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to check out some earrings DIYs and some home decor that I have on my channel and subscribe for more so yeah thank you so much for watching I'll talk to you later and take care bye guys